Racial divides exploding into violence, a war of words infusing the presidential race, and millions of Americans gaining rights never seen before. CCTV's Francis Coe has a look back at the major stories in the United States this past year. Chaos in the streets of Baltimore. Businesses looted, cars and buildings set ablaze. Several fires burned throughout the city after the funeral of Freddie Gray. He died after being injured in police custody. There is just so much debris out here. Everything started to shake. Luggage and people went flying and then a violent stop. That's how passengers aboard Amtrak 188 described the moment all seven train cars flew off the tracks in Philadelphia. Never seen anything like this uh, in my life. Two inmates carried out an elaborate escape plan, cutting through steel, maneuvering catwalks and steel pipes, breaking through a brick wall before climbing out of a manhole. David Sweat was captured about 25 kilometers from where a border patrol agent shot and killed his accomplice, Richard Matt. Shock and mourning outside an Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in South Carolina. To say our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families and their community it doesn't say enough to convey the heartache and the sadness and the anger that we feel. A roar of approval as the controversial Confederate flag is lowered for the last time outside the South Carolina State House. In a 5-4 to four decision, the Supreme Court ruled that every gay couple in America has the right to get married, no matter where they live. For the first time since 1999, the U.S. women's football team captured the Women's World Cup. A half hour of chaos and violence in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It was loud and it was fast. When the gunfire stopped, four Marines were dead. Firefighters in Washington state fought an uphill battle against wildfires that scorched thousands of square kilometers. Under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. Chaos and fear in the streets of San Bernardino, California. A military-style assault carried out by Saeed Farouk and his wife, Tashfin Malik. We are now investigating these horrific acts as an act of terrorism. Meanwhile, this community continues to mourn the 14 lost. Presidential candidates in a crowded field participated in their last debate of 2015 and spared no insults. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the let's presidency. Let's see, I'm at 42 and you're at 3. They're likely to face former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton as they march toward the presidential 2016 election. Francis Coe, CCTV, Washington.